What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another Java game programming tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at creating lighting effects within our game using the Java Graphics 2D class. So we don't need any external libraries for this. Uh, so let me go ahead and run the game and show you the final result. Alright, so here we have the menu system. This was an old game of mine that I made called Seder Run. And here we have just a little light point that roams around the menu screen of our game so it's not a super intense light but you can still see it it's still noticeable and you can change the values to make it either uh, less intense more intense etc you can make it bigger smaller whatever you'd like it's a really cool sort of torch uh, lighting system that you can use although it does not cast shadows it doesn't do any of that it's a very basic lighting system but depending on your project it could uh, result pretty nicely all right so Let's go ahead and hop into the code here. All right, so here I am in my menu.java class. Now, for your project, obviously it's going to be different unless you are following my Java Let's Build a Game series, which we use the tick and render methods. So if you're, if you're following that tutorial series, then the render method is where we're going to be drawing the light and the tick method is where we're going to be uh, controlling how the light moves and interacts with the environment. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is create a couple of variables. The first variable we're going to create is a private float x equals 100f and y equals 100f. So this is going to be the x and y coordinates for our light so wherever we want to move that light source, it's going to be the X and the Y. We're also going to want to create a radius, so private radius. And we're going to equal it to, we'll say 800. We'll just pick a magic number there. Oh, and that's going to be a float. All right. So those are the only variables we're going to need right now to create this light. So let's go down to the render method. Now, if you're using a repaint method or something like that, anything that uses this graphics uh, class in, within Java, you can use this exact code for it. So the first thing we're going to do is convert our graphics uh, into a graphics 2D variable. So we're going to say graphics 2D, G2D equals, and then cast it over to graphics 2D, G. All right, pretty simple. So now let's go ahead and begin. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a point 2D. So 2D vector. So point 2D. We're going to call it center. And this is going to equal to a new point 2D dot float. And inside here it's going to be our X and Y. So pretty simple stuff. This is just taking our X and Y and converting it to a, a 2D uh, fl uh, float vector. Um, and now we can use this center and it holds both these values, which we're going to need when we create the uh, radial gradient. So now we're going to create an array uh, of floats called distance. And this is going to be the intensity of our light. So we're going to say 0.0f and 1.0f. So from 0 to 1 is sort of the intensity of the light. And then we're going to create a color array called colors. And this is going to equal new color. We're going to say 0.0f, 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 and 0.0f. And then color dot black. So this is going to be what the light, oops. This is going to be what the light looks like, what color the light is. So if we set this to one, the light would be red. And this is the backdrop of the light. So here it's going to be a white, just a, a basic white light, and it's, uh, well, it's not going to be a white light, but it's going to be transparent, which is what we use right here, so we can look through this circle of the light. All right, and then now we're going to create our radial gradient paint. So I'm going to say radial gradient paint, we're going to call it P. This is going to equal to a new radial gradient paint. And here we're just going to put in all the variables that we created. So center, radius, distance, and colors. Pretty simple. Now we're just going to say g2d.setPaintP. 
and then say g2d.setComposite. So alpha composite dot git instance alpha composite dot src underscore over um, and then 0.95f. So this is basically like a blend mode. If you ever, if you're familiar with GameMaker, uh, this is uh, src over is the blend mode, so we can look through this sort of circle that we are creating. So now we just say g2d dot fill rect at 0, 0, so 800, 800, and then g2d dot dispose to clear the cache. All right, so here we go. We now have this light operating. Uh, so if we run the game, as you can see now, we have this light. It's darker over here, darker in this corner, darker in this corner, but it's light right here which is really cool. So now let's go ahead and make it move just so you can see how to go about uh, doing that. Now, obviously your game's gonna be different on how you want it to move, um, but so just kind of follow this. If you wanna manipulate where that's at, then you can just take the X and Y value. So I'm gonna say private float velocity X equals one. Private float velocity Y equals one. And then in our tick method, we can say x plus equals velocity x, y plus equals velocity y, and then if x is less than or equal to zero, or x is greater than or equal to 640, then velocity x times equals negative one, and then same thing for the y. So we're just making the light bounce off of the walls. Velocity y times equals negative one. And we run it. So now we can see the light is changing. It's getting dark here, it's coming over here, it's coming back up, and it's going all around town. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Check out CodyMadeSimple.com for more content and tutorials. And of course, I will see you guys next episode. Peace.